I've got some sort of online presence and I fall into obscurity generally on purpose like not that I really could sit there and be famous and stuff and like all clean image and all this and that not that I necessarily could do that that's not really what I'm saying but I do purposely avoid that you know for whatever that's worth I suppose really dear. Anywho, uh, yeah, I mean, I was just kind of sitting there thinking, like, I wanted to show my grandpa a video of Waylon Jennings and, uh, Travis Tritt, and they're singing a song where corn don't grow, and, like, I'm sure he's never seen that, but he's a big Waylon Jennings fan, and it's, like, deep in my mind, I kind of get the feeling that he wouldn't appreciate that. Even though it's like such a great gem to find. That like there's no way you couldn't you know appreciate that. But I think the part of it is is that I wouldn't be drinking with him. You know, I wouldn't be singing along, I wouldn't be having a good time in his mind. But that's exactly it. What's he's preventing it himself, you know? Like but that's that's just in my head. Maybe not. Maybe you wouldn't react that way. I don't know. I would want him to, you know, kind of open up his eyes a little bit and shoot the world that you got. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing is, is you know. Yes, the internet is coming upon us. It's been here for about 20 years or something, you know. It's not going away. You know, you don't necessarily have to embrace it fully, you know. Of course not. However, you kind of should, to some degree. You know, it's not going away. <laughs> you know, it's better to not stress about something than, you know, st stress about something that you really have no control over. Um, but, I mean, really my main point there was that, you know, hey man, like, I'm kind of avoiding fame in my lifetime. Like, I don't want that. I want, I would like to not be distracted and have all these people tell me what they want me to do with my art at least it's one thing with my painting company and it's one thing if you've got a commission especially if it's a good one like a well thought out idea that like has integrity with what I'm doing and like fits in with what I'm doing and could pass as one of my ideas really Otherwise, I don't really want to do it, you know, I just, like, I've had some ideas that, like, I just, I, I, I can't do it, like, I'm sorry, I, and it hurts me to deny people, like, I don't like saying no to people, but at a certain point, I gotta say something, because it just happens, you know, more than I would like it to, but, uh, no, I do believe that I will be posthumously famous. I mean, I've had to say it, so... Can't be that famous. You know what I mean? It's like, if I have to tell you how good I am, am I really that good? Well, the thing is about that is I'm obscure, so... You probably didn't even know. And I think that's the only reason why I'm so inclined to say that, because you're probably not going to know otherwise. A lot of these things I do, not necessarily behind people's back or in secrecy, but kind of. Not, not in a bad way, but like, I do it privately. I mean, I don't really like try to make this all public. Even though I have a uh, 
internet presence. I still don't really make it public, the things that I do, necessarily. I mean, I've gone away from quite a bit of it, you know. I'm sober now. Working tired. As if I wasn't before, but, you know, now I'm just sober. Accomplishing more. I would say a significant amount more to that eagle. You know, I do think life's better when you're sober. That's just me. It's just, I think, the only reason I'm not sober, I wouldn't be sober, is if, you know, there was other people around me that I was trying to impress. And I, I would never really admit that that's what that is, but that kind of is what that is for me. Like, I, I want to impress somebody else, and like, I don't want to, I don't want to live that way. Just because you want to have a beer with me, like, I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that. I know it's like, yeah, it's just one beer, no, like, rock bottom, again, like, I'm sorry. Get it through your skull that, like, that's extremely disrespectful, of, you know, messing up somebody's sobriety. good time not a long time just as well but at the same time is this really a good time if that's all we're doing not really honestly and I'm wasting so much potential good times by you know not being sober so I'm gonna go ahead and just be sober even though I never really had a problem in my opinion it's really more so other people's problem with me and yeah, I know that's bold to say, but the thing is, is all I was doing was smoking a little bit of weed, like a G a day. Not really that bad. Not really that bad. I mean, yeah, of course, if you smoke a G right off the bat, yeah, you're going to get your dick knocked in the dirt. And you're not going to be able to do that right away every single day. Of course, yes, you have to work up to that. Still not very much, though. You know, it's still a very tolerable amount. If you work up to that, that's pretty much the sweet spot. You don't really have to do any more. Sometimes you can do less, you know. And honestly, I'm not half as productive doing that. I don't need to do that. I enjoyed it a fuck ton. You know, I sang my songs and did some crazy art, you know enjoyed the effects of it, I did, but I've had my fun, you know, and, and, and going out, you know, this is the one part that kind of pisses people off, it's that, you know, going out to places and finding a little place to hide, that's exactly it, like, the, there's so much in that, you know what I mean, like, you don't really know what I mean unless you have to go hide somewhere. You know, once it's legalized, you don't really have to hide anywhere. It's, it kind of takes away from that. So it's better off being legalized, really. As much crime as it might bring to the people. But at the same time, it's like, you actually almost should have it illegal, but at the same time, don't really do anything about it. I think it's kind of better that way. <laughs> like, make it illegal, but like, don't really do anything about it. But the thing is about that is like you just got to be smart about it and stay away from people. You know, find your spot and <clears throat> zone out, do your thing, you know. But the world's not that perfect. You can't really just set that up that way. I can't let myself be an influence of that. You know, but if, for me personally, that's kind of what I would fancy the most, I think. As far as drinking, I've never had a problem with that. Never. And the reason for that is because people around me 
have a problem with that. And I can see it. And I know I do not want to become that. Do they lean into it because of that? Probably. Probably numb to that at most points, but I think to some degree they probably do. Which is stupid. If they do. So, I don't know. It's a hard thing to just quit randomly when all your friends do this and that's all you've ever done for however many decades now you've got a massive routine going on of course you want to you're going to want to come home and crack open a beer of course you are you know gotta get, you know, a little bit high and mighty about it, who fucking cares, I do, that's the thing, man, like, you're wasting your potential if you're, if that's all you're doing, you know, and I'm wasting my potential sitting here even talking about it, I'm a lot better off talking about it than doing that myself, sure, but, you know, even that's a waste of my time, because I have to worry about somebody else that is fucking their life up. And whether they realize it or not, they're fucking up somebody else's life as well. You know, fortunately I did realize that when I, you know, was on my binge of smoking weed every single day and hiding every single day and shit like that, you know. Somewhat mooching. I mean, I really wasn't that bad about it. I was always trying to pay, I was always at least trying to pay my way. But at a certain point, I mean, I couldn't really do that all the time. So, you know, it's somewhat a problem in that sense. You know, I think part of it was just I wanted to get it out of my system, have that fun, experience it, and move on. Move on from it. I've already had my fun. I don't need to continue doing that anymore. I've broken away. I'm not going to go back because I know as soon as I go back man, it's, it's going to be devastating. I've already gone through this before. I went 25 months and then broke and went even harder than I've ever gone before. that goes as well and I can't keep being that bad influence on other people when deep down inside I know I'm a good person I'm a good hearted person so why am I being this bad character this antagonist intent antagonist <clears throat> just so that someone else could feel like they were the hero. When now that I've cleaned myself up, that hero's my antagonist. Yes. That's what happened there. That's what happened. and love to you all, everyone and everything. Drive safe.